Hi guys, Shima here. Welcome back to Bench. Update on our heavy armor group build hosted by Jackman Marcus. Right, we're almost getting ready to put this in the primer. Um, still a lot of storage with this kit. Um, some on the back of it there. Uh, there's a few other bits and pieces still in the box, plus there's some on the table or the turntable. Now what I might do is add some to the skirt car in the background there. Um, those bits here are actually supposed to be wood, but I'm going to replace it with real wood before I go on the side here and then they're tied down with uh, the chains and so forth. Um, the grey figures are actually resin. I got them a few years back when I had the Or Fury tank. That was an issue for it, but since I'm building this one now, I'm going to stick those on us onto it. Now these five figures, that's the one, these are the main actors that was in Fury itself, the film. Uh, I, they do look like them very um, close rep, uh, resemblance to the main actors. Um, there's a few holes in them here and there, but they also did a retest the filler. There's some supports have to come off and a few clean ups here and there before we get them all in the primer. But I think it sets the tank off uh, rightly. Now the tank commander is actually out of an alert kit. He didn't get any configures at all with this particular Fury kit. But as I say, um, I did build it before this Fury. Um, it does build really well. It's very well detailed and so forth. Um, I've left all my lights off intentionally uh, until I get all the smaller pieces all put on. Then we'll get it all in the primer. So I'll get the same treatment as the two uh, kits in the background are the scout car and the hauser. We'll get that all weathered up and so forth. Then we'll start getting the, the diorama in the place, getting the final positions for the vehicles and so forth. Um, as I said, still to weather all the, the figures and so forth, um, different tones in their faces, just rather than that real pink. It's just not going to sit well for me. Um, so we'll get that all done way right towards the end before, as I say, before we get everything put in place. But other than that, it, it, I think I really well, as I said there previous. Um, there's still a lot more stuff in the box, a lot more storage and so forth. A um, couple of bits and pieces. Um, let's see if we can get this focused. Right, I've got one of the characters here. Let's go and get it to the camera. Now this is supposed to be, I think it's Frank, I can't remember his second name. Um, the guy down the Punisher and Shane at the Walking Dead. Now, it doesn't look too far from him, to be honest. Now, there's still a few wee things to be cleaned up on it before we get it in the primer. Make sure it's around his neck or his wee gap, but we've got that taste wee taste of filler put in that. Um, and he's, there's a few weapons with it as well. So it should really set it apart once it's all done. Something a bit different, you know. This here's Brad Pitt or Shea LaBeouf. Um, it's him standing up in the back. Um, Brad Pitt's sitting down there. He's actually still on his supports. That's where he is. So they're breaking him supports away. Um, get him cleaned up a bit before we get everything put in place, as I said. Can't put our hatch on just yet with a gunner, so we'll get that all sorted as well. So, here you go, guys. Um, quick update on our heavy armor group build, heavy tanks, heavy guns, should I say. Um, so, here you go. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll speak to you all later. Bye.